South Carolina and North Carolina as well. They have been ravaged by heavy winds, torrential rains, and even tornado damage when uh, Hurricane Florence made landfall last Friday. They are reporting record flooding, and it could worsen within the week. Now, one community standing firm, a place popular with people here in Toronto and across Canada, Myrtle Beach. Joining me now on the phone is Julie Ellis, who is a communications manager for the website. Visit MyrtleBeach.com. Julie, thank you very much for joining us today. How is the situation down there right now? Well, I have to tell you, Myrtle Beach was pretty much spared the wrath of Florence, and for that, we're very grateful. Um, when I say Myrtle Beach, I mean the 60-mile-long beach from North Carolina border all the way down to Georgetown. Uh, we've got a lot of attractions, a lot of skyrise hotels along that beach, and we suffered very, very minimal damage. Some signs blew down. We had some, you know, a few trees down, but really... He uh, really fared very well. We're grateful for that, but unfortunately, North Carolina got slammed, and now some of the inland communities are flooding. So getting to Myrtle Beach, even though things are open and things fared well, uh, right now, just for the next few days, will be a little bit difficult with the flooding. That I was going to ask you about the question. I mean, obviously, the concern with flooding and then repairs down the road for some of the roads that may have been damaged. Have you heard... But any of the highways, any concerns uh, for people thinking about uh, making the rundown? Well, you know, as I mentioned, right now is when the flood water waters are actually still rising. There is a small portion of I-95 at the North and South Carolina border that is closed, and that's one of the main routes into our region. So it will be a few days till the flood waters recede. Uh, unfortunately, and so so getting to Myrtle Beach uh, should be done so with with caution and some planning uh, for a few days. Uh, but otherwise, we're gonna we're open. Uh, people have made their way back to the Grand Strand to be ready, uh, ready for those guests to come back. Uh, right now, it's just the road travel might be a little treacherous. The airport is open and Myrtle Beach is ready. Any concerns? Any damage from the storm surge, or was there a storm surge in that area? Uh, there wasn't a major snow storm surge. There was a little bit of misplaced sand. Uh, right now, we were in the middle of a beach renourishment program that had started in the south, and they're assessing that. The Army Corps of Engineers is assessing that to see if any of that, all that new sand had gotten washed away or how much of it had. But there was not a significant storm surge. There was some misplaced sand and, you know, as I said, some, some trees and some signs that you blew off of buildings, but nothing, nothing major. Okay, so, and, and more importantly, one of the things I did when we were down there, the golf carts are all running? Golf carts are running. Uh, most of the golf courses are open. There's a good number, 45 of them are open, and uh, most of them are expected to be open within the next few days. Okay, Julie, thank you very much for joining us today. We appreciate it. All right, thanks so much.